in Scratch, we have a basic system that allows our character to move around based on coordinates. To understand how these coordinates work, Scratch has built in a special background. So if you click on Stage, come up to Backgrounds, and then Import, it'll come up with a whole bunch of preset backgrounds, but the one we want is in the main background folder and it's called XY Grid. So now that we've changed to that, you can see on the stage how Scratch works. We've got a Y axis up and down and an X axis left and right. And the very middle is zero, zero. You'll see just below the stage, it's giving me feedback on where the mouse is. So as I move closer to that center, it'll get closer to zero, zero. Now our X axis concerns left to right movement. So zero is in the middle and then the number you'll notice down here is getting higher as I move further to the right and it'll get lower and go into the negatives as I move the mouse further to the left. Our Y axis concerns up and down just like on a normal graph. So at zero in the middle it'll go to the negative numbers down the bottom and then climb into positive numbers above the center as I get towards the top. One other thing to take note of is when you have a sprite selected, up here in the sprite information it'll tell you where it is currently. So you can see at the moment sprite 1 is at 0, 0 which is exactly in the middle. If I was to move that sprite up into the corner that's positive X and positive Y it tells me it's now at 171 X 113 Y. Okay, understanding this gives us the basement basis to work out some basic movement controls, say for a maze game. All of these need to start with a key press. So come to control and we'll drag out when space key is pressed and we'll change that to up arrow. Now we know that the Y value will get higher every time the cat moves up. So at the moment it's 30, when it moves up again, 62. It's getting higher every time I move it up. So with that in mind, we can add some motion. We can come down and it says, change Y by 10. So all this means is, whatever the Y is, at the moment it's two. Every time I press the up arrow, it's gonna add 10 to that. So let's test it out. Every time I press, the cat moves up. Now we'll drag a similar one to go down. We'll make the down arrow work this time. And we'll change Y because the number gets smaller. As you can see, 5 minus 46 minus 82. We need to make it minus 10. So all we've told it is when we press the up arrow, we want the Y value, the up and down value, to increase by 10. And when we press the down arrow, we want it to decrease by 10. So let's test that out. Using this same logic, it's very quick and easy to set up our left and right. So we'll drag out two of these while we're here. First we'll set up our left arrow. And instead of the Y, we want the X to change, the left and right. So we'll change X by minus 10, because negative is to the left. Every time the left arrow is pressed, we'll change this one to right arrow. And we'll get it to change X by positive 10. And now we'll test that out. Okay, excellent. We have our cat that moves around the screen just like in some sort of maze game. If we hold down the key, they'll move in steps. One other thing to note is that this number 10 could be a different number. You'll notice that the grid goes from 0 to 100 all the way to 180. So to get from 0 in the middle to 100 at the moment, it's going to take 10 steps, 10 times 10. If we change this to a higher number, all it means is the cat will jump more spaces on the grid 
with each key press. So we'll change all of these to 30. And we'll notice now that he jumps a lot further. If we change it to a smaller number, we'll just do it for the right direction. It'll move only one spot each time. So by changing these numbers, you can tweak very quickly how far you want your character to move every time you press a key from the keyboard.